Hi, we are IKEA Industry Team, and thank you so much for being here with us today. Our team consists of Porto Design Factory students, them being Carolina, Andre, and myself, Alex. It also consists of University of Science and Technology of China students, them being <coughs> Hanshu, Haishi, Luan, and Jimmy. <laughs> thank you. So we're developing a project for IKEA industry, <laughs> which is IKEA's main supplier of wood and wood-based furniture. IKEA is a world-renowned retailer of furniture, and one of their main goals is to create affordable furniture for the many people. IKEA industry challenged with this brief, how can we develop a way to make the mass production of organic shaped wood furniture a reality? The two main keywords we got from this were Mass production and organic shape. Mass production um, for IKEA industry. If it means making affordable furniture for people around the world, it means its production must be fast and low cost. The current shapes that they produce are very geometrical to keep up with this pace. A simple curve is a challenge for IKEA industry because in order to make it, they have to cut out material, which generates a lot of waste. On the other side of our project, we have organic shapes that are quite a subjective concept. And to fully understand them in the context of our project, we made user testing, such as sensorial experiences. And here, we concluded that organic shapes are curves that are transformable and adaptable. Also, we learned that organic has a lot to do with nature and with the feeling you get from being in nature. Just take an example. Imagine you are on the beach, laying down, with the sun warming up your face, and then just get up to go for a swim, and come back to rest again. There's a reason why we keep going to this place, and this has to do with the feeling, with the connection we have with nature. This is a big part of what organic means. Another important part of this project was to define the user. Our user is not a typical ME certain user since we are creating a business-to-business -business solution. Our user is Antonio Costa, intermediary between IKEA industry and IKEA. He is a person that will determine which kind of manufacturing process will be used when IKEA is developing a new product. So the target of this project was to create a new manufacturing process to provide unlimited possibilities to engineers to create something new and different. In the process of this project, we have tried many methods to create organic shapes, such as wood paste, wood bending, wood puzzle, stick, and string. After making a variety of prototypes to test our ideas out, we started thinking about something that has limitless resources, something that surrounds us all the time, everywhere we thought about air. What if furniture could be made out of air? Well, for this to happen, wood had to become flexible. And we started researching, and we found out about aesthetic structures. Aesthetic structures have a negative ratio poseidon, which allows hard materials to become more flexible. As you can see in this slide, it has been tested on cars and also footwear. So we started prototyping the idea of making flexible wood. And by combining this idea of aesthetic structures and making wood more flexible, uh, making uh, furniture out of air, we developed Luft technology.
Smooth technology allows flat surface to become organic by a flat MOE there. You can choose what kind of surface you want according to your needs. The, as you can see on the video, the, the pattern on the surface was cut in order to make the wood flexible. In this case, we use cork, bamboo, and parquet. Also, you can see on the video, when the surface is flat, it's hard. Once you inflate it with air, it turns soft and adaptable to your body. Well, since we are creating a technology and we are working for a key industry, we need to know how to mass produce it. And to mass produce a loaf technology, it requires four different processes. The air chamber and the electric material are all sourced. The box is a familiar process from IKEA key industry. So we need to create a new process to put it on the production line of IKEA industry, which is the wood pattern. In order to create the wood pattern, we use a cutting press, which press the wood plywood. And below of this, there is a vacuum system that keeps the little pieces together from fly away. Then the elastic material is glued to the wood pattern. And later, they are put, they are put it together in a box which has already layer shimmer inside. Regarding applications, we are giving IKEA industry the opportunity to, to create a bigger variety in shapes. Just imagine the possibilities. It can be used in products such as a chair for comfort, a table for safety, for instance, in children's products, and also in a wardrobe for decoration. We are keeping IKEA's flat packaging solutions while doing so. In terms of sustainability, by using air, we are using less and less materials, which means we are keeping up with one of IKEA's main goals of reducing the amount of resources used in products. Ultimately, air will allow IKEA to develop affordable and organic shaped furniture for the many people. Thank you so much for your attention. And try your technology. Yeah. <laughs> Any questions for Team IKEA? I feel like I got my groove on now. <laughs> yes. Um, if I was to purchase this, would it become pre inflated or is there something I would do with the plate? Yeah, how to inflate it? Um, we prepared several processes, although this would uh, have to be discussed with the IKEA product developed teams, but we thought that you can inflate this using a small air compressor, just manually in this case, or you can use uh, automatic systems such as big air compressors. And you can just, in this case, you can inflate it like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Any more questions for Team IKEA? Yes. question is, how much does this cost compared to traditional processes and materials? Okay, thanks for your question. Obviously, I can give you a clear uh, answer because we are developing a manufacturing process, or we can call it a technology. It's not a specific product. So it's the uh, cost depends on what a product it is. So, but we have proved the manufacturing process can be mass production. And uh, the material it used uh, it's very low cost. For example, uh, the air chambers we use uh, from where, where I come from is uh, uh, only 0 0.5 uh, uh, cents or something like this. So I, I think it's a uh, uh, very, very uh, low cost. Thank you. We have a question at the back, yes? I'm assuming that uh, a number of ways must be produced in this uh, production process. Have you considered what can be done with this base? Because there are a lot of holes between these shapes. So the question is regarding the, the waste uh, from the production process. The production of, of these shapes can potentially generate some waste and has the team considered uh, this aspect? Uh, so when we visited uh, IKEA industry, we visited uh, two factories. 
uh, and we, we asked about the waste and how they deal with it. And when it comes to this kind of waste that we showed, there's actually not much use to it. And this is something that's stuck in our minds, and we, the way to solve it, uh, then we address it in a different way by the use of air. Because, you want, you want to add something? They, they sell the waste for, for heat the, 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 the industry also, and also to create this curve, it takes a little time. It's not that fast that they want. So we, we opted to create a, a new different way of making curves, because they tried and they couldn't work that fast. Are there any implications for cleanliness or hygiene with this kind of shape? Is it more difficult to keep clean, do you think? That is a good question. <laughs> really good question. <laughs> yeah, we didn't. <laughs> we thought we thought about that, but we didn't develop that 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 point that deeper. But it's the next step to 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 go. We need, we need, we have a, a, the documentation for IKEA like industry. That is the next step, and it's really important for for the many people. Okay. Thank you very much, Team IKEA. Make sure you're around.